On today's episode of Man Family Farms, once the pit gets full of sand, you gotta reach down and open a little gate, get the water to flow out so we can clean it out. So Decker drew the short straw today. It's feeling for the little gate. It broke off. Huh? It's broken off. You gotta reach down and... Oh no! That is not good! The gate is broke off. That is not good. We could be in trouble. All full of dirt. Great. Finally rotted through. Not a good deal. We'll get her though. Just relax. This is what we call Man Farms Drain Cleaner. Special tool I made. Pull the dirt out of there. Oh yeah, I got bubbles, that's good. Yeah, this is fun. So everybody always shows you the fun videos on YouTube. They don't show you the dirty, dirty stuff. Yeah, that's true. It is, isn't it? This is the, these are the little dumb things that you like, don't think about. And you're like, you can't have your drain plug in. And this is our little piece here it broke off. So we got, we got some extra mud in here over the last, little while. We'll stick that in there and hopefully that mud isn't down in there so far. Eventually it'll start draining. It might be slow, but pull every little bit of mud off there helps tremendously. So we'll see what happens. He's got her all uh, painted up, poor 15. We didn't do the diff housing. We're probably gonna change oil on it. So I thought, let's get it together and make sure it runs and we'll change oil, do a, change all the fluids in it. I'm gonna work on putting the new springs on here. Don't have shocks yet. We wanted to see how high it sat before we ordered them. Looks like we're missing, might have one wrong U-bolt. What do you think, Esty? We're tired, but let's work on getting some springs on. Okay, got the springs in, got the bolts loose. Apparently we forgot to wire wheel and clean the U-bolt brackets. So I'm gonna go wire wheel them, at least so they're clean, so I can put them on. What are you, what are you doing? Look at that dog. She's so happy. Tongue laying out and everything. Oh, SD. Putting the final touches on some brackets. One's gonna bolt right here across the frame and the fuel tank will push up against that. So we're gonna put a nice primer coat on here. This bracket doesn't look like anything fancy, but it's gonna do the job, be underneath. It'll help support the fuel tank when we press up against it. Blue Dawn, you're, you're close. Hopefully we're starting this thing up in a couple days. Decker and dad went to get some shorter U-bolts. They took them with them, but we had some here that were, they were like this long, so needed some more short ones and they'll work for the front also. We're gonna start working on the fuel tank now, getting it in its home. Got our springs on. We got, Three quarter ton monsters. We got shocks coming tomorrow, hopefully. Yep. We gotta put springs in the front yet, but we'll figure we'll get it running first. We got the fuel tank in, kind of just loosely up here. We got to get some weather stripping to stick to the foam pads so it's not metal on metal rubbing. We can tighten our straps, tighten our brackets, our fuel lines up, get rid of our two way switch and just have one 
you know, just run up to one fuel tank instead of the two, and then we'll be ready to see if she's gonna start. We'll drive around. It's today's Wednesday, hopefully Friday night, Saturday. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah, and then it'll be Mount Flatbed that time, and that good. is a wrap for I tonight. You ever have a day, I know you do, where you got something you don't really want to work on, but it's been bothering you for so long, and you finally just say, I'm gonna fix it today. Well, today's the day. This seat in our dump truck is a passenger seat. All right, kind of look crooked there. This is a passenger seat in the dump truck. And I don't have, you know, riders that often with me, but when my little great nephew wants to ride with me or my wife wants to ride with me or my son takes it and his wife or his girlfriend wants to ride, they always complain about, man, that seat, the dump truck's horrible. Then they never want to ride again. We just recently took a seat out of a semi that uh, didn't quite fit how we liked it for some stuff we got to add to it with a PTO and that thing, uh, kind of sort of stuff. So we're going to take this seat out and put that semi seat in here. So we just uh, got the little bolts out underneath the seat and stay tuned. Hey, honey badger. What? How long have you had this dump truck? Hang on, I'll tell you exactly. Grab that book up there. Just tell me, please. July 4th, 2017. 2017. Six years. If you're gonna say something smart enough, I wouldn't do it. Six years. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood today. It's Saturday, it's fun day, don't ruin it. How many, ruin it. How many times do you Hold suppose on, this ready? truck's been cleaned out in six years? Are you ready? Oh, at least once every six months before it goes into the store. Hey, you can't over here. You, we gotta say something? You know how many loads I've hauled with this? How many? 1,564. I believe it. We've had the truck for five and a half years. You video on this? 1,564 divided by I said uh, five and a half years, 5.5. That's an average of 284 loads a year. And that's just our own monkey business. What do you need? Short socket. You know what's funny? Everybody always makes fun of me, but when they really want to know something or if they should buy something or make a big decision whether it's just anything who do they ask me me well honey badger <laughs> here it's a war zone that's what happens when you have three boys who think they know everything yeah just get it all just don't matter just suck it all up Okay, just let it set for <laughs> Okay, I bought a block. Any chance of getting a block in there? Ready? Oh, hold on, so we had a little engineering foo -paw. My part, totally own it. There you go. Moment of truth, we got the seat in, mounted. Let's see what happens. Oh, passenger seat air ride in a dump truck. Is that full height? Yep. It's about as high as I am. Good thing we didn't, don't need to be any higher, does it? Yeah, sit low anyway. All right, let her down. Something messed up, you gotta hit the lumbar. No, no, it's not messed up. It's all right, it'll work. We're not gonna get crazy about that. End result of old Razorback seat and dump truck passenger seat because yeah looks good works perfect I haven't talked much about the Razorback here so let's talk about it. 1997 379 Peterbilt red and white perfect aftermarket LED front headlights chicken light breather light to the moon stainless hog belts Painted fuel tanks, just put a new pogo on, new hoses, roll the dice, M-line decals, 
good to go. Coming to the cab. Oh, we don't want that, it's gonna make a noise. Put a new seat in here, Legacy Silver. The reason we put the new seat in here is because the uh, Sears seats, the Elite, has a air, these buttons are like right here and they, they would hit this. And we didn't want to mess with this, so we just said, hey, we're getting a new seat with these good sleek buttons. Legacy Silver, that's what you gotta get. CB. Got the retractable gear keeper. CB right there, Breger Burger 1.9, over and out. This truck has a 12.7 liter Detroit set at 500 ponies. So plenty of power, probably. I think our N14s are sitting about 500, five and a quarter. And then our ISX Cummins, two of them are set at 550. And the red Peterbilt, the 2020 is set at 605. It'll be right there in line with everything else. As far as the Detroit goes, we've never had one. So uh, it's definitely new, but man, you read, you read stuff about the old Detroit and people say they're good motors and they're gonna have people that say they're terrible motors, just like everybody who talks about a Cummins or a cat or anything. People who love them, people who hate them. You just kinda have to have your own experiences and experience it for yourself to really see what you think. All I can tell you is it feels very snappy. feels like it's got great power. It sounds great. There's no leaks on it. I'm gonna run her. waiting on our apportioned plates which basically means that we can run out of state and we actually do have a herd big front bumper grill guard coming it is being shipped from norfolk nebraska to des moines iowa we will pick that up this coming week sometime and then she's ready to buck as you already know we are calling the truck the razorback so it was only fitting to put a razorback logo right there Oh, we're going to use this truck like we use all their other trucks. We're going to haul seed corn. We're going to haul shelled corn. We're going to haul fertilizer. We're going to haul grain. We might haul some flatbed stuff. We mainly need another truck because we're adding a third truck for green corn. We haul green corn, seed corn, out of the field. And uh, this is going to be the third addition to the fleet of green corn. Man, we saw this truck and you just... <laughs> How could you not? Clean frame. Look at this guy. Stupid clean frame. Tires, plenty of tread. Steers are basically almost new, it looks like. It's already got a drop visor, tall stacks. Excited, really excited. Can't wait to, can't wait to see what it's capable of and let her rip. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, got the whole fam here working on the 87. Oh yeah. Yo, I got it. Bring up the oh, of course you do. So we're just getting the fuel fuel tank all gussied up, getting the fuel lines ran. Shocks, springs. Gussied up, Larry. Why don't we do one in this bolt for you? Would you like to hear what I have to say? No, it really holds. So Saturday afternoon, it's 4.15. You know what really hits the spot? Arby's. Sounds good. Girl Scout cookies. Thin mints. You guys want to go with Arby's? You want to go for? Yeah, I would like Arby's. you to please comment in the comment section. Where else would you comment? What is your favorite Girl Scout cookie in this time of year? You know, February, March. I like the peppermint patties, but the old standby. You mean the, Thin Mints? The fit, no, the peppermint patty is probably my favorite. They used to be called Tagalongs, but now they're peppermint pat. Or, Peanut butter patties. But Thin Mints are your go-to. They're simple, they're lightweight. Lemonades are the only ones to get. The, oh, the, or the coconut the, peels. I mean, come on, look at this. What are the coconut ones called? They come in the streamlined silver package. You don't like lemonades? All right. They have the nice little tab, you just pull them open. Dwayne goes through one of these boxes a day, And you just keep the sleeve. Hey, it's that time of year. Look at that, a thin mint. It's, it's just, year, it's bulking day. season. It's bulking season, as year round. Bulking up, so get, get ready for planning. Thin mint. Small business. Right. Right. 
Stop fire. Justin Hellickson, AKE. <laughs> I see that. So there's a little two prongs here. Stick that in there like that. And that pressure's into there. It's gonna be nice and stout. The seat is down as far as it'll go. The handle is there, not hitting the floor. Put a little Velcro strip in there, get it clear down the bottom. Back far, pull it around, tighten it up, ready to go. If there's a fire somewhere and you need it, boom, pull it, ready to go. Pull the pin and go. It's just that quick. Simple, easy, convenient, safe, right there. You don't have to climb over the seat, get back in and get it. I'll have to admit, I wanted to mount it somewhere else, but this was Decker's idea. It was your idea. It was. I just wanted to see if you caught that. He wanted to mount it on the floor. Well, it's on the floor. It rolls around and you can't get stuff behind it. You can't clean. Look at this. You can clean underneath it. You can actually set a can of window cleaner right here and it would hold it right here against the handle. You could put M&Ms under there. there. You could put M&Ms under there. Underneath of it. You could clean underneath it. You'd actually have to clean underneath Because I'm yep. a really clean, clean freak underneath. and I want that really oh, clean. Oh, really? <laughs> Go look at his pickup right now. But I put it back there. Start. Nothing? It's not rocket science. I know, but I want to feel the heat. It feels like. It cranks. A lot of people get pumped through their head blinds. Super quiet. That muffler. Well, really. That thing sounds awesome. That's gonna sound great with straight no gas. Okay, let the boaters boat. Did they boat already once? Most of them said stacks. Pipes oh. are going on. Six inch. place up. Yay! What's the next step, gentlemen? Uh, front. Leaf well, get the wire fixed out. up right. Yeah. Front leaf. Get some connections. Front shocks. Um, as soon as he gets that wire in, we could, uh, need a we got to start setting the box on here, or the yeah. flatbed, so we can be... You start know, fabbing the flatbed. Fabbing maybe. the fuel neck up in. And get rid of some of them old fuel lines. And then we'll decide on how the stacks are going to go on because they're going on. There's no doubt. It's not a question because the title is in my name. It's my pickup and I'm putting the stacks on it. So deal with it, YouTube. Case rested. Everybody's a fun hater. Front springs and shocks. You want to you want to paint frame down there a little bit, or? Yeah, we haven't even brought over the Chevy. I mean, the wheels from Cycle. Oh yeah, put those on here. Yeah, that's what we were originally thinking. Get this uh, wired up like it should. 
Flatbed? We're styling. We're styling. That might be the end of the video. If it is, thanks for watching. See you in funnies. And don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. Oh, we yeah. always forget to oh, say he, that. Look at him. Man, he's the, he wants the subscribers. Come on. Make it happen. 100K. Let's go. Yeah, well, let's get to 20 first. Yeah, let's get to 20. All right. Okay, so. Peace. You know what I am? An angry farmer. The rusty bolts from the. Can you, can you do that again? Angry farmer.